are watching our weather here. Yeah, uh, and our weather's not bad. Uh, yeah. It's been really nice. Kind of a cool start to the end, or cool end to, to uh, September and a cool start to October. But now we're expecting to see more sunshine and temperatures warm up. Now I want to take you back down to Florida though, uh, portions of the mid-Atlantic coast actually, not just Florida because now Ian is kind of setting its sights on portions of eastern Georgia. Also, uh, eastern the uh, Carolina, South Carolina, and maybe a little bit into the Outer Banks, as right now it is a Category 1 storm, 75 mile per hour winds. What we have seen with Ian is the heaviest of the rain has been on the top side of the eye, and that is what's happening right now. Right now, fortunately for you know folks down south, that's generally out to sea, but that's going to change. Look at this swath all across portions of Florida. You're talking between 18 and 20 inches of Doppler estimated precipitation there, making its way right on through that region so there's no community in the country that can handle that much rain in that little time north uh, port up to 19 inches of rain from Ian so there you go now storm surge uh, the potential is going to shift to the north there all across portions of uh, of the uh, Georgia southeastern Georgia coast Savannah they're going to be on the lookout for this also towards Charleston you see a little bit of red there that's a storm surge of nine feet or greater so where we saw some of the highest uh, storm surge video from uh, Ian as it made landfall yesterday. That's where we were talking about those areas where we saw that storm surge around nine feet or so. Again, category one right now. Winds uh, are continuing to uh, right now be sustained at about 75 miles per hour, so a weak category one. Uh, Ian's expected to make a left hand turn. Another landfall as we get into Friday about lunchtime here. And that's going to be maybe as a category one. After that, we'll, the storm is going to move inland and be a very prevalent flood maker, I think, all across portions of the Appalachians. Here's your rainfall. Look at this. Osteen, Florida, you know, we're talking almost a foot of rain. Sanford, Florida, same amount. Uh, Daytona Beach, this is today. 80 mile per hour wind gust, 75 for Orlando, Florida. And there's that look there, uh, kind of an ominous look. You can still see gray skies and just kind of um, just wild, uh, uh, wildly moving clouds at this time. All right, I'll bring you back home here because the contrast is what we have seen. Look here, Antioch. It's one of our new weather bug cameras there, and it shows sun, blue sky, a little bit of cirrus, just really nice conditions for us. And that's not going to change as our satellite imagery does show. We are not looking at much in terms of cloud cover that's going to come our way. 64 degrees at O'Hare. That was the high. Midway got up to 64 also at the lakefront, 60. Typical high this time of the year would be in the low 70s, so we can complain about that a little bit. We're up to 59 right now. Winds out of the east at 8 miles per hour. The dew point temperature is 44. Winds blowing on shore now coming in uh, from the lake at between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. There's cooler air up to our north, but look here. Yeah, that's the warm air that's out to our southwest. That's what's going to be here this upcoming weekend. We're going to see the mercury climb into the upper 60s tomorrow, 70s and stay there really, I think, for the rest of the upcoming weekend, at least high temperatures. Again, rain out to our northwest. The high pressure, though, is going to remain in control for us. This rain is not going to affect us. We'll see winds eventually start to come out of the south east then out of the south that means the mercury goes up in terms of Ian not going to affect us at all that cloud cover the higher level clouds going to really hit the brakes uh, across portions of eastern Indiana western Ohio for us it just kind of causes a traffic jam which will keep us in the sunshine let's take a look at how things are going to be for us tonight we got 45 is low temperature for this overnight mainly clear not as cold those areas that cool down significantly you dropped to the 30s last night it'll happen again for you tonight as you travel inland then tomorrow we're back up into the uh, upper 60, 68 there, last day of September, and uh, we're going to see nearly 100% sunshine. Into tomorrow night, we're down to 54 low temperature, mild conditions there, and for Saturday, 71, unlimited sunshine, just a really nice day to be off. Hope, hope you are. Here's a <laughs> seven-day forecast. On Sunday, we're up to 68 degrees, and then Monday, we climb to 67. Tuesday and Wednesday, middle of the week, we'll have very nice okay. days, highs in the low 70s, mm. and next Thursday, we cool down to 67 degrees so you know finally kind of normal type of weather it's been a little bit cooler Small. than normal uh, we warm up into the I haven't heard you, heard you use the phrase unlimited sunshine in a long time so that's well nice. it's been a while yeah. <laughs> mm. right. keep Not it coming much of this month yeah. thank you Dave. thank you